stampers. This is Amy Whalen. Thanks so much for joining me today at amysinklings.com. Today I am so excited. I want to show you how to make these adorable little charms that are great for identifying your wine glasses or even your tea or coffee or hot chocolate. So come join me and I'll show you how to make them. Now these are super easy to make. What I did was I used the charms from Have a Cup of Embellishment Pack. There is a teapot, a spoon, and a lemon slice. So that's from Have a Cup of. I also used the flower that came out of Botanical Garden. These are charms that you can find in our current occasions catalog. Let's see. The Botanical Gardens Jewels are on page 27. And then, oh, excuse me. And then the Have a Cup of Embellishments are here on page 35. And the moment I saw them, I thought of wine charms. But I do want to say, in case you don't drink wine, these are great too, um, obviously, for wine glasses or champagne. But you can also use them to identify your tea, your hot chocolate, or your coffee. If you ever go to a bunco night or a small group and you're all drinking something and you're like, oh, which one is mine? This is how you identify your mugs or your glasses that have stems. So I'm going to show you how to make them. I'll use the flower from Botanical Gardens. Now, this is something that I found at Hobby Lobby. These are wire hoop assortments and they look like this. This particular pack, let me see if I can get this out, had two sizes. All I have left right now are the large sizes, but they had some smaller ones too. You'll see that it has a little loop here and then the other side is flat. Okay, I do prefer the smaller size, but this is all I have left and I think they're working just fine. So you'll need some sort of wire hoop um, look at any of your craft stores and then you'll need the charms again we have botanical gardens jewels as well as the have a cup of embellishments and then I'm using seed beads uh, now these are not micro beads they're seed beads that have a hole that's large enough to accommodate the hoop so let me show you how I did this I'm going to use green and I do like to use two beads on both sides so we'll start with two beads Then you put on the charm and then two more beads and then you'll need some wire nose pliers to simply pinch that end and turn it up and all you're doing is you're creating a hook so that now when you want to put it on your glass this one already has one but I'll show you again you loop it through and you attach it like that. And again, you can do that on your mugs and teacups as well. This is a great gift and um, they're super easy to make as long as you have the proper tools. So aren't these adorable and they are so quick and easy to make. I just love them and what a great gift these would be. Now if you don't currently have a Stampin' Up! consultant and you need help acquiring some of the Stampin' Up! product that I use to make these charms, then reach out to me at amysinklings at gmail.com because I always love to hear from you and I'd love to give you a hand. However, if you're ready to place an order now, and if you're not already on my website, head on over to amysinklings.com because in the upper right hand corner is a shop now button and you can place your order at any time. Now don't forget we are in the midst of our celebration promotion. It's going on now through March 31st and for every $50 worth of Stampin' Up! product that you purchase you get to choose one of these fabulous items for free. So thanks again for coming by Amy's Inklings. It's always a pleasure teaching you and showing you something new. Bye bye.